I was on the bus the other day staring out the window. The bus from my house to the city is around 40 minutes so I knew I had a while to zone out and get lost in my thoughts. I was daydreaming about the future for about half an hour before I started wondering what other people were thinking about. The guy sitting in front of me also was staring out the window, although I wasn't sure if he was daydreaming or half asleep. Last year I was daydreaming a lot about my future. I was flatlining in life. I was working a retail job that stopped challenging me and I felt like a robot doing the same thing over again and again. The only work that made me happy was on my days off when I had a chance to make a creative video for my channel. I was overthinking about my next stages in life. Overthinking to the point that the pressure of the thoughts built in my head and actually turned into migraines. I was thinking too much about something that may or may not happen in the future. Have you ever thought about something too much that it caused you pain? One day, I just didn't get out of bed. I called up work and told them I was sick. Which wasn't entirely a lie. <laughs> the next day, I went into work and resigned, effective immediately. For a while after that, I felt crappy. No job, and the only savings I had was for my trip to Japan. Japan made me happy. I loved it. But when I got back, again, no job, no money, and a little bit sad. After a few hard weeks of wrapping my head around what emotions I was feeling, which I still don't understand sometimes, I felt like I had a aha moment. Basically, I overthink a lot. Like, I feel like more than most people, which is probably not true. I think about the future and how it is meant to turn out, how my life is meant to look like. I judge myself based on other people's lives. And you know what? I stopped working on me. Life happens one second at a time, one day at a time. Each day I'm alive, I should be focusing on that day. What I can do to make my life better that day. Not what life should be like a year or two down the track. Thinking that far ahead was giving me physical pain. As simple as it may sound, this year I'm focusing on one day at a time. And you know what? It's kind of simple. This week I went for a run, got a job, ate healthier than normal, cleaned the house, did some yoga, meditated for half an hour and did some studies. Eckhart Tolle from The Power of Now says, as soon as you honour the present moment, all unhappiness and struggle dissolve, and life begins to flow with joy and ease. When you act out the present moment awareness, whatever you do becomes imbued with a sense of quality, care and love, even the most simple action. So I decided to worry less about what career I might end up with in the future because I trust myself enough to know that I will make the right decision when it comes. And that day isn't today. Thanks for listening. Um, before I go, has anyone else been waiting to watch Mary and the Witch's Flower? I have, I'm so excited and it's coming out in the cinema soon. So that's why I made this Ghibli themed DIY video for you guys. I'll let you guys know what I think about the video when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching and listening to my story. Bye.